This wonderful day of presentation for the school is English Day. Honestly, after having seen all these presentations by these lovely children, I do I can't say much more because they kind of gave us and filled our hearts with so much of love and enthusiasm that to add more to this would not be a good thing. So, one or two things I like to touch on, because it's an English day, I would really like to urge all of, all of you all to do your best to increase the income and SEF as a partner in your school are more than happy to help. I know our other partner, SSDF, is helping in so many other ways, but SEF is also coming to this forefront, especially in the English language area. We've done one or two schools that I, we hopefully we can help in the other areas. Having said that, you know, it's interesting. The first song here was about, if I want to be clearer, was an ABBA song about a dream. And I'm not sure if, if most of you are aware or are aware, this whole dream thing, one of the dreams I read about it this morning, was that I have a dream speech by Martin Luther King. I guess you might have heard of him, may have not. He was one of the American civil rights leaders. I have a dream that all of you all, in my view, will be able to improve yourselves in English and other things. And it will be a huge boost to the community at large. So, I like the last few months I have had here was this saying, again, I, I hopefully you all will get it, all roads lead to Rome. All roads lead to Rome. And we are wondering now, what is this, all these roads? The Romans, thousand years ago, maybe, or beyond, had so many roads, they were the rulers of the world, leading to Rome. In our context here, we want, as a group of people, for all of you, especially the young ones, young children, to when we talk about the roads to Rome, to learn any and everything, you need to develop a skill. Ideally, in the English language or any other language you're strong, the skill thing is critical for the future. She's still a white candidate by Elizabeth Turner. Mary had a little bird with feathers bright and yellow, slender legs upon my world. He was a pretty fellow. Oh, erosion is the weaving away of rock, so even the substance and their achievements. Now since 8.30 a.m. we all are here witnessing the performance of almost all the students of the school from grade 1 to 5. And we saw all of us their times the hard effort taken by all the teachers and the principal who is guiding them and uh, being the small children, it's very difficult to control them and make them perform. The children who come from, as Mrs. Uh, Roshani said, from a handicapped situation in life. They have put forward today a performance and they stand shoulder to shoulder with many of the schools in Colombo. Believe me, I have been to many such programs. 
but to see the discipline on the stage today from the children, from the way they stood here till the curtains closed, the way they took their courtesy, the effort that's gone into train this is not a small task. It's a task that speaks of cohesion. It's a task that speaks of good governance. It's a task that speaks of leadership, of cooperation, of coming together for one cause, and that is the upliftment of the school and its name. And for me, I speak on behalf of all of us seated here in the front row and in the second row as well and beyond. Our faces, maybe a little more than the other schools, because being a private itself, sometimes the parents tend to take the child away from the school if they get the opportunity to admit their child into a, into a school where they can do the O levels and A levels. So these are the biggest challenges as a primary that we face. But our main objective is not to give up, but anyway to face the challenges and go on a long way. As a school, we dream big on behalf of the children and on behalf of the community. Our main objective is to upgrade the school into a secondary school. We don't know how far we can go, how much we can achieve because in 2024 education reforms, schools are categorized into three sets, primary, schools where the students can do all levels and schools where the students can sit for A levels. So we will see how far we can go. They, in this kind of English day in this place, so my heartfelt gratitude goes to Serendip Education Foundation for taking the initiative. Without them, uh, I don't think we'll be able to do any of the days in uh, a day in this calendar. So my heartfelt gratitude always goes to the members, the president, vice president, and all the members of Serendip Education Foundation. Full to my members of the, uh, members of staff, academic and non-academic, and volunteer teachers. SDC, uh, the team of parents, uh, then past pupils association who stand with me always whenever I speak to them regarding an issue, the president and all the other team of members, they are always with me, they come to discuss matters. Chief guest and guest of honor for spending your valuable time with us. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I am so grateful for you all for making me feel that I am not all alone in this job. Two gold medals and nine silver medals at uh, national level competitions held at Sukhdadasa Stadium last month. And one of the gold medalists represented our school yesterday in an international level competition. And uh, he has brought a silver medal for the school. I am happy to hand over that certificate here. And I cordially invite my coach, karate coach, MSM Shafras, and the little hero, MSM Hamdan, on stage, please.